I want to take a moment to show you a bit about the built-in Windows 10 game bar. Click the Start button, and then click the Settings icon. When the window opens, go to Gaming. There are a few different items in the left-hand menu, the first of which is Game Bar. Game Bar is what you can use to record your gameplay, take screenshots, and broadcast. Right at the top, there is a toggle to turn Game Bar off and on. And below that, you have the option to open the Game Bar by using the Xbox button on an Xbox controller. Further down, you have a list of keyboard shortcuts for various actions. Opening the Game Bar, taking a screenshot, starting and stopping recordings. Each one has a predefined Windows shortcut, but you can also set your own shortcuts if you'd like. The next item in the left-hand menu is Game DVR. This is where you control how you capture video and screenshots while in a game. Right up top, you can see the default folder where your screenshots and game clips are saved to. Below that, you'll see an option to record in the background while playing a game. This essentially records the entire time that you're playing a game, but doesn't actually save anything unless you use the Record That option on the game bar, which will save the last few minutes of your gameplay, which you can customize here. You can have it save as little as the last 15 seconds of gameplay, or go all the way up to having it save the last 10 minutes. Below that are a couple checkboxes. One for letting Windows record even when your PC is running on battery, and another to record while wirelessly projecting your screen. You can simply uncheck these boxes to disable these options. The next item is the Record This option. Unlike Record That, which only saves the last few minutes of your gameplay, this will start recording and saving your video immediately, and continue to do so until you turn it off, or it reaches the maximum recording length set here. This can be as little as 30 minutes, or as long as 4 hours. The longer it goes, the larger the video's file size will be. Next, you can decide whether or not you want audio recorded when you're recording a game. And you can also turn your mic on by default to have that record as well without you having to enable it on the game bar. Below that, you can adjust your audio quality, adjust the volume for both your microphone and system audio, and also enable or disable recording game audio only. If you disable this, then you'll also be recording any other audio running in the background on your computer. Below this, you can choose whether you want to record at 30 frames per second or 60 frames per second. And you can also change the video quality from standard to high, as well as decide whether you want to capture your mouse cursor in your recordings. The next item in the left-hand menu is Broadcasting, which lets you tweak settings for when you're live streaming your game instead of recording. At the top, you can choose whether to record audio when you broadcast, set the audio quality, choose whether to turn your mic on automatically when you broadcast, and whether to use auto echo cancellation for your mic. You can also adjust your microphone and system volume, choose whether to broadcast game audio or audio from your entire system, and set the language you'll be broadcasting in. You can also enable or disable using your webcam while you broadcast, and also enable or disable whether to capture your mouse cursor during broadcasts. The next item in the left-hand menu is Game Mode, which in some instances can help improve your game's performance. There's nothing to toggle here, but it'll let you know if your PC supports Game Mode. The next menu item is True Play, which is an anti-cheat system. For now, it's off by default, and games have to specifically support it regardless. The final menu item is Xbox Networking, which just gives you the status of how your device is connecting to the Xbox Live network. If you go to a game and open the game bar, you'll see that it has a few different options. The first that you can click on is Take Screenshot, which like it says, takes a screenshot of whatever is currently on the screen. Next is the Record That option, which will capture the last few minutes of gameplay. And beside that is Record This, which records continuously until you stop it. You also have the option to enable or disable your microphone while recording. The next button lets you start broadcasting to Mixer, and there are also buttons to let you enable or disable your microphone and camera. And next to that, you can enable or disable game mode. And all the way to the right, you can click here and drag the game bar to a different part of the screen if you'd like. And in the lower left corner of the game bar, you also have some shortcuts to the Xbox app, Mixer, the folder where your captures are stored, as well as settings for the game bar. If you have any other questions, you can always visit the Acer community or our Acer support site.